Hi guys! For this video, I'm delighted to collaborate with two incredibly talented ladies, Kim from Kimspire DIY and Chrissy from Glamour Life Fox. So be sure to check out their videos by opening up the description box below. Kim has a great method for making easy stress balls and Chrissy shows you an amazing recipe for bubble foam slime. For my part of the collab, I'll show you how to make this adorable unicorn stress ball. To make the basic stress ball, you'll only need a balloon, some unicorn colored glitter, and gelatin or agar agar. Try to get transparent balloons if you can. I found this one inside a multi-pack of normal balloons and it looks a bit milkier than a standard white balloon. You can also order crystal clear balloons over Amazon and those really make amazing looking stress balls. Start by filling an empty balloon with glitter. I used a mixture of glitter glue and loose glitter but I think loose glitter actually works a bit better. If using glitter glue, you have to pause from time to time to squeeze the glue down into the balloon. With loose glitter, you can simply use a funnel or a paper cone to pour it inside the balloon. During my first attempt at this DIY, I tried adding the glitter after filling the balloon up with water, and this happened. And if you try to refill the balloon with water, it just gets worse. So don't make the same mistake. Next, pour in about half a bag of powder gelatin. This simply helps to thicken the mixture a bit so the glitter can flow around nicely, but you can always skip it if you don't have any. Then pull the balloon over a tap and add a tiny bit of water and wait 5 minutes for the gelatin to soak it up. Now run the tap until the water turns really warm and fill up your balloon. Shake it around to dissolve the gelatin and spread out the glitter. You might also want to let out a bit of the water from the top to get rid of any foamy bits. So the best way to tie a water balloon is like this. First twist the end around a couple of times so there's no risk of the water getting out. Then pull it across your index and middle finger. Then wrap this around and push it through the gap between both fingers until you tie a knot. And this is your basic stress ball done. If you want to take it to the next level, then you'll need some crafting supplies. I used a marker, some acrylic paint, paper clay, glue and felting wool. I made a huge mistake of using E6000 here, which you should not use because it actually dissolves the rubber. I think that Elmer's glue, glue dots or double sided tape will work a lot better. But I haven't tested it out, so if you do, then please take care and I'll actually love to know how it goes. First, take out two small pieces of air dry clay. I used a tiny bit of red paint here to make one piece pink so it looks a bit like a marshmallow. Now roll out both pieces so that they're thinner at one end. Once they look something like this, cut off the thick end so that you're just left with the tips. Next, wet your fingers slightly which helps the clay stick. Place the clay above and below the balloon knot and then carefully start to spiral it together. Your aim is to hide the knot completely while creating a unicorn horn shape. Once you have it, you can use a toothpick dipped in water to clean up the details. Then leave the horn to dry for at least a few hours and use glue to stick it onto the balloon. Next, to make the unicorn mane, I'm going to use some needle felting wool. My last video was on needle felting, so just click here to watch that if you want to know how it works. I'm simply ripping off some small pieces of wool and then repeatedly poking one edge to join them together. Make sure the colors overlap slightly so they create a gradient effect. When you're felting the edge, you can make a slightly curved shape so that it fits the side of the balloon better. Then use a glue that is not E6000 to stick it onto the unicorn. My stress ball actually broke shortly after filming because the E6000 dissolved the latex exactly along the place where I just stuck this. I didn't have time to test out alternatives, so please be careful if you're making this. If you're not so sure about the glue, then don't play with the stress ball in any place where it might accidentally burst and damage things around it. Now you can simply give your unicorn a haircut and then draw on eyes with a black marker. I actually went in and colored it again with acrylic paint so that the black color stands out more. And lastly, just add tiny dots for the eyes using paint or nail polish. If you want, you can also glaze the unicorn horn using a glitter nail polish top coat. This is actually the same one I used for my own nails in this video, and sadly for all you Christine fans, this is a shimmer, not a hollow. And now your unicorn stress ball is done. You can shake it around to stir up the glitter so the color changes between white and blue. And don't forget to check out Kim and Chrissy's videos for this collab which are all linked below. 
thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!